Meanwhile, thousands of rape kits in Texas just sitting on shelves will now finally get tested. It's all thanks to a new law that was signed by Governor Greg Abbott earlier today in Dallas. Our political reporter Jack Fink was there and joins us live with the details. Jack? Well, Gilma and Doug, the state doesn't even know exactly how many untested rape kits there are in the state of Texas, but that will soon change. You know, this was an emotional event, especially for the woman whose name is on the bill signed today. House Bill 8 is now law. Governor Greg Abbott signed the bill that will eliminate the backlog of thousands of untested rape kits in Texas. The new law is named after Lavinia Masters, a rape survivor who has pushed this for years. I can assure you, I do not think I would be signing this law today, but for you and your tireless effort and commitment. Masters received one of the pens the governor used to sign the bill. It's exciting and I'm, I'm overjoyed. Masters was raped when she was 13, but her abuser could never be prosecuted because her rape kit sat on a police department shelf for 21 years. The statute of limitations had already run out. You're telling a person, a child, uh, a Texan that we don't care about you. And that's how I felt when I learned that you put my kid on the shelf for 20 something years. Under this new law, the state will spend $54 million to count every rape kit, get them tested, and develop a system to make sure they aren't gathering dust ever again. To finally get to this point, I said I wasn't going to cry. But to get to this point, and I get to live and see it, and I'm still alive and breathing and healthy and, and able to just enjoy it and see and, and, and have other victims, you know, be able to survive. That's what it's about. She is a very strong woman. And while the legislature committed funding to not only testing these rape kits, but hiring and training the people to do it, state lawmakers are going to have to continue this funding in future years. Governor Abbott signed four other bills today related to this issue and to combat human trafficking. Doug and Gilma? Survivors say it's a long time coming. Jack, you also asked the governor about the spike in murders the city of Dallas saw last month. So what did he have to say about it? Well, Governor Abbott told me one murder is one too many and that any increase is a cautionary flag. There were 41 murders in the city of Dallas last month, which is far higher than in May of last year when there were only 15. And the governor offered the city help. I will make the resources of the state of Texas and the Texas Department of Public Safety available uh, to Dallas uh, to ensure that they have every resource and tool they need to address this challenge and to quell any increase in murders in Dallas. And the governor said he offered the city the same resources and help three years ago when Dallas experienced a spike of murders back then. Doug and Gilma? Jack, thank you.